Okay, we're going to talk a little bit about traveling, tourism in Costa Rica. We're going to talk a lot about if you're thinking about moving to Costa Rica and living in Costa Rica. I'm going to be doing a little bit of Nostradamus stuff, prognostications for the 2021 year here in Costa Rica on a few different things. I think it's going to be worth watching. We'll see. Anyway, guys, I'm Michael Allen, TravelCostaRicaNow.com. TravelCostaRicaNow.com is a travel agency. So go to TravelCostaRicaNow.com, fill out the uh, four-minute form, and you'll be that much closer to the vacation of a lifetime. Why are you having nameless, faceless people on the Internet putting together your travel packages? I don't know. You should be talking to us. We're like you having best friends who live in Costa Rica, who know Costa Rica, totally hooking up. Your Costa Rica vacation, I'd appreciate a subscribe. Uh, always helpful, always helpful. All right, man. I am back to my house with my big cup of coffee. None of those little pretty coffee cups of uh, D'Angelo has. Uh, we're going to get that uh, into all this in a second. Anyway, guys, it is Saturday morning, April 10th. After spending... Uh, Two weeks at D'Angelo's house. He was helping me uh, on my road to recovery. Uh, but now I am back at my house. And I feel so much better with my big coffee cup. Cracked and broken and stained. Kind of like me. Uh, so here, here's how it's going. Uh, a lot of you guys ask me how, how I'm feeling. So here's kind of what happened. As you know, some of you know, I, I had gotten COVID, but that wasn't the problem. I actually had the effects of what they call long haulers, right? And uh, it was terrible, terrible, terrible. I wouldn't wish it on a worst enemy. Uh, fatigue, body aches, a lot, total listlessness. Well, what happened with me two weeks ago, I got in an accident where I fell and I totally messed up my kidneys or my ribs or both. And I think what happened is the powers that be said, you know, we've been fucking around with this dude with the COVID and the long haulers. Let's break his ribs and screw up his kidneys, but we'll take away the COVID long hauler stuff. And that's exactly what happened. So it's basically as soon as I kind of got hurt here, my other stuff kind of went away. It was kind of uh, replacing pains, <laughs> I guess, uh, which I have no problem with. I will take this. And anything that comes with it, uh, you know, to to terrible pain when you sneeze over that long hauler stuff any day. So I am feeling better. I am not there yet. I am missing the gym. It's starting to play a little bit on me, but I actually still got a little bit of time where I'm not going to be able to do anything for a while longer. But anyway, I'm better. Thank you very much for uh, everybody's concern and support. I totally appreciate it. It actually keeps me <laughs> going. Um, now the other thing real quick, my residency, I wrote my lawyer two days ago. It was a very, uh, hey, I'm, pa I'm expired. <laughs> my residency ran out March, uh, 26. I still have not heard from him since I heard from him back, I think in the end of February where he said, I'm making an appointment. I will let you know. Now, for those of you who don't live in Costa Rica and don't really know Costa Rica, it doesn't, me getting mad and saying, what the f is going on here, does not work here. Anytime you think you might win a war, you might, but you're not going to win the battle. So I'm still soft playing this. Uh, hey, what's going on? Because it could come out of the blue. It could come out three weeks. Hey, come down. We got your, res you know, let's get your residency thing going. We got it. Congratulations. Or... I may not get it. I'm not saying I'm going to get it. I'm just saying is I'm still playing it cool. Anyway, so that's where I am on uh, my residency. So let's talk about tourism really quick. If you're thinking about traveling to Costa Rica or where the tourism industry is going to go, uh, my predictions on this, my Nostradamus thinking, um, our high season is pretty much over. It always ends about the first week or so of April. And May is always one of maybe one of the worst months here. That's even pre-COVID. It's just it is what it is, and it's just slower. Uh, June and July, we get a lot of um, high school kid groups, big buses of kids, and I heard those a lot of those are still coming, so that will be good. But now, obviously, COVID can wreck everything, right? So I can't 
if that starts, you know, raising its ugly head, which it is in some places, um, you know, that can change everything, right? But um, I think uh, as far as Costa Rica is concerned, I think they're pretty happy with just you filling out a health pass. The traveler's insurance is almost a joke. It's very cheap now. I'll have who I recommend. I think, what's their name? Trowick or something. The insurance is very, very cheap now. And if you complain about it, it's almost like on you because it's pretty cheap. Even like for three months, it's like a $60 or $50 or something. So, and I don't think Costa Rica wants to change any of that. I don't see any uh, mandatory vaccines, even though I might've made a joke about it. Uh, it might happen if the world goes that way, but I don't think Costa Rica has any intention on going that way on their own. They wouldn't do that. So I think they're pretty happy with just, you know, fill out the health pass, get your traveler's insurance, and you can come in. Uh, as a lot of you know, the land borders are open between uh, Nicaragua and Panama. I think Nicaragua uh, requires a COVID test to enter, but I'm not sure about Panama. But the land borders are open. That's the main thing on that. Um, so I think what's going to happen is I think we're going to kind of limp to the finish line which is our next high season starting in the end of november and i think the high season is going to do very well very well i think it might even do better than past high seasons people want to travel and the thing is you know it's funny i actually uh, travel costa rica now had a very good march and is having a very good april uh, as far as uh, you know we sell travel packages right and it's it's going very it's going well so if we're doing well, our tiny little uh, company, uh, a lot of other people are doing well. And I can tell you, um, <laughs> you know, rich people have not been hurt by COVID. Actually, they've been making money, big business and all that. And rich people still travel regardless. So high-end travel is still is, is doing, you know, well. And it, uh, just on a side note, it's like Airbnbs, you know. There's a bunch of Airbnbs and they're not doing that well, especially if they're of the cheaper, like $35 a night, $50 a night. But what it are, are doing well here still are high-end Airbnbs. So people with money are still traveling and I expect them to continue traveling throughout the year, but we'll be pretty slow. Um, our numbers will be down comparatively speaking you know, pre-COVID, but, you know, there will be some travelers, right? So June and July, that's the kid group or a lot of high school kids, and we'll get some uh, um, European, you know, we'll get we'll get people. Um, September, October, again, slow months. October is kind of like May, another very slow month just because it is. And then we start picking up, and I, we're, I think everyone's expecting good things for this next high season, which I expect to be very good very good so you know crossing fingers that COVID can we can keep that at bay uh, for <laughs> a little bit right uh now what i think personally let's get into something else i think costa rica really you know COVID does affect traveling here obviously with all its requirements but it really doesn't affect people still wanting to move here and live here and I, I, I think that they should really, really continue to promote it. They are doing a little bit there. You know, I talked before about some incentives they have in uh, their legislature or whatever. You know, tax exempt stuff, um, changing the uh, uh, investment from 200000 to 100000 You get your home goods tax free the first time. You can bring your car down. Those things, that's, those are still there. So they're doing things, but I really think they should push this even harder because, you know, baby boomers, dude, we're all retiring. <laughs> we're all retiring these next 10 years. So you got baby boomers anyway, looking at other places for a variety of reasons. Then you got the people that are scared in their country of maybe mandatory vaccines. They don't like where their country is headed. That's a lot of countries. I'm seeing that from my emails. Or a lot of you guys aren't digging your country. And you are looking at Costa Rica. And it's a good look. I, I see why you are. It's a top, it's one of the top retirement places. You know, Panama is up there. Uh, Mexico is up there. 
uh, other places. But Costa Rica is at the top of that list as well, in the top five. So, you know, people are looking at it. So if you combine baby boomers just in general, retirement age, thinking about making a move uh, for a better place or whatever, and then the other people that are just really upset with the way their country is going. Excuse me. Whew. Then Costa Rica is looking pretty good. So this is this is a great time to come and do recognizance. And actually, uh, back to the travel real quick. This is still a great time to come. Still more monkeys than people. You will have a great time if you if you do uh, decide to travel here and take a vacation. You know, if you don't like the crowds and stuff, this is going to be a great time in the next six, seven, whatever months to come down here and explore Costa Rica. And then you people thinking about living. Or moving here also this is a good time to look around I'm not saying you know you don't have to buy right now but I think it's a good time to look around I think you can find deals you can take your time you can look at where you want to live do you want to live in the Central Valley where the climate seems to be the best do you want to be on the beach where do you want to be and you can look into all that um, in the next few months because um, Costa Rica is going that way. I mean, again, I, I really do. I, I think the other thing I think they should do is legalize pot. It's already, they're already looking at the medical legalization. And no matter what, you know, it's funny. It's like gay rights and stuff. That's going to happen. Gay marriage will happen in like 98% of countries or whatever it is in the future, right? Well, um... Pot is the same. It's going to be legalized at some point more than just uh, medicinal. So Costa Rica needs to get moving on that with the, the medical or with the just pot being legalized. They need to start promoting the country as a, a solid place to retire. They need to get look um, get those incentives passed through the legislature. And, you know, Costa Rica is a good place to live. They have their problems. I would never tell you that Costa Rica is for you. They've got money issues, man. They've got issues. <laughs> They've got, definitely got issues like any country. Yes, there's cheaper countries. But anyway, this is just a good time in the next uh, months to come down and look around, whether you're traveling or thinking about moving here. Now, they're also kicking around that, you know, digital nomad is the big thing around the world. Now, a lot of people are doing that. Digital nomads, where you work on your computer, you know, technology, and you can do it from anywhere in the world. And Costa Rica, like a lot of countries now, are trying to attract those people. That's another thing they have in the legislation. Uh, legislation. So if you can prove that you have $5,000 coming in every month from a foreign, you know, foreign coming in, um, and you have, and you have medical insurance to cover you they'll give you a year-long visa and they will even extend it for six months so they're looking at all this stuff to make it easier for you to get down here now the thing about that uh, digital nomad thing um that's tax exempt money so that's kind of good but the only thing about that unless unless you're kind of new or you don't really know costa rica that may look like a wow that looks like a good deal you know i just proved this well a lot of people maybe can't prove five thousand dollars and they they're gonna have to do something with the perpetual tourism way to live down here because you know in a sense why would you even go through those hoops of you know becoming a, a that get that year visa through being a digital nomad when you can leave the country three times go to nicaragua for the day come back you don't have to prove you know you don't really do anything to, to a degree so uh, but anyway, that's not the point. The point is Costa Rica is, they're trying, man. They're, they're starting to, to make that push. So I think that's what 2021 is going to be all about. They're going to continue their marketing with travelers, and they're going to continue pushing uh, living here and try to get these incentives going for people like you thinking about coming here for whatever reason. And again, I never want to, I am not Costa Rica's promoter. I don't care where you live. You know, if you say that Panama is better, Panama is better, right? Although I can tell you one, I, I can tell you one thing about Panama. 
that is not good and is almost a deal breaker for me why I, I don't want to live in Panama. I know all the good things about Panama, so don't write me and go, Mike, they have more incentives. And I, I get all that, but man, those people aren't nice, man. <laughs> the Panamanians don't give a rip about you. And that's kind of important to me. I like that the Costa Ricans kind of, at least they act like they like you. The Panamanians don't. They almost have a contempt for you. Anyway, but that's it. Panama's great. Uh, so that's it, man. I think that's what's going to happen this year. I think that's what's going to happen. You're going to see a lot of promotion uh, to get you down to travel to Costa Rica. And they're they're going to see a lot of promotion and incentives along the way to get you to live in Costa Rica. Whew, that's it. And if COVID doesn't uh, change anything, I think my Nostradamus thoughts might be pretty accurate. Anyway, guys, I'm Michael Allen. TravelCostaRicaNow.com. Peace, guys. Hope it helps. I haven't done this one in a while. Peace, guys. Hope it helps. Uh, things are going to pop up. You know, I don't know if you guys realize the videos. You know, a lot of you may are, are new to the channel and you just see these little update bullshit stuff. Do you know the videos we have on this channel? Do you know all the information that we actually have on this channel about all the interviews with expats and uh, talking to people who have container home. You know, there's a lot. You should look into the uh, playlist of this channel. We got a lot of good videos, a lot of informative stuff. So you should spend your weekend, watch all our 500 plus videos. You got time. You got time. They're going to pop up right now. Get started now. Going to have to grab the big cup of coffee. All right, man. Have a good one.